Hello there, viewers. It's Adventure Link here. Hey. <laughs> Before we get started, special thanks goes out to KY Lay on Facebook, aka KY on Patreon, for being a patron. With that being said, I want to ask a question. Now, when you get in your Dodge Journey or any other U connected Chrysler product, be it Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, or Fiat, and you want to, you know, listen to the radio, play with the buttons, or use navigation, SD card, your optical disk drive, Bluetooth, or whatever, no matter how much you turn up that volume, you get nothing. If this happens to you, then stay tuned because I'm going to share a quick tip with you guys on how to restore the sound on your Uconnected Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Fiat product. The patient in question, though, is the 2013 Dodge Journey AWD Crew Edition. So, these instructions are specific to Dodge Journeys as a whole. I don't know if it'll affect other Chrysler products, too. Depends upon where the amp module is, because that's our main culprit. But step zero is to disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery. Or in the case of the Journey, you got to disconnect it from the frame of the vehicle, the hood of the car. It's step zero because, you know, if you want to disconnect it, great. Some people do, some people don't. But if you don't want to risk frying other modules, you know, that's always a good thing. So, with that being said, the, like I said, that uh, amp module, it's underneath the passenger seat. So, what you want to do in the case of this journey, there's a bar down here. See, I'm pushing myself back. But I got to push myself forward. Or get out of the seat and push it forward in such a way as where it'll stay all the way up. Now, if you got those little switches that'll, you know, do it electronically, you know, feel free to use those too. But for this car, I just got to do this. And we're done. And, of course, got to get out of the car and uh, make sure it's all the way up too. <laughs> okay, so we're under the passenger seat. And first off, for anyone that asks, yes, this here is your amp module. Um, if you ever need to replace it. I could try to align this over with some part numbers, but I guess that's, that'll do. But what we want to turn our attention to is these two electrical connectors right here. There's a little black one, and the right next door is a big white one. You'll push and hold in the tab on the little black connector like so. And push it out. Now you want to do the same thing to the white connector here. But as a heads up, the white connector will give you some trouble getting it out and in, so do be aware of that. See how anything about getting in trouble? That's what it's doing. And of course, you got to position yourself in such a way where you can get to the cord. That would help. Now, with both connectors free, as you can see, as a heads up, I personally find that if I use one hand, to push down on the tab, push and hold, and then use the other hand to push out the connector, then it works just fine. Now all you want to do from here is reconnect everything. So we'll try to start with the white one first. But as a heads up, this one can be a little problematic to get into. So you got to kind of play the little touchy-feely game, if you will. Try to get this in. Got him. It'll go in and click. Now let's do the same thing to the black one. Boom. As Taras Cool would say, boom. Boom. We're in. Now let's go up to the car, turn it on, and try it out. Of course, if you did disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery and or the frame of the vehicle, um, do feel free to reconnect it, please. So you don't kick yourself in the butt later. <laughs> now, as you can hear from the white noise static, we got a radio back. Yay, sounds back. Of course, I had to turn it to a different station, you know, like find dead air like this or something, you know, because the YouTube copyrights don't want to get this claim like content ID is bare minimum, you know, if not a total flat out copyright strike. But let's uh, test all the buttons. Buttons, they work. Buttons. Buttons. They're working. So we can pretty much. It's safe to say right now that this radio is working again. How long it's going to work for, though, I have no idea. This happened to me the other day. I fixed it, and then it just came back to me a few days later. So, yeah, take that for what it is. It's a quick fix. It's easy to do. Just do it every time. If this doesn't work, I've heard of people going to the inside fuse box for this vehicle. As a hint, it's hidden somewhere behind this um, 
glove compartment here, so you got to take that down. But I got a video on how to take that down for a cabin air filter, so go ahead and watch that video. And I'm not sure where it is from there. You probably got to undo some carpet or something, but it's back there. So, yeah, now we got our sound back and all that. Yay! This is it for restoring your sound on your Dodge Journey or other Chrysler Dodge Fiat Ram or Jeep product that has a Uconnect radio and that same amplifier. Let's go and wrap up this video. Another simple repair for this video. As a heads up, though, like I said, this is kind of sort of like a like a temporary fix, I suppose. I guess treat it like that. Because like I said, I had it, you know, fixed once before. And uh, when I said a few days ago, I didn't mean a few days ago. I meant like it was less than a day and it came back again to haunt me. So yeah, take that for what it is. But if either the fuse and or the uh, disconnect and reconnect of the amp doesn't work, then you're probably going to have to take this thing back to the dealer have them you know reset the computers on your car or even uh, do software upgrades or replace the amp module if that was to go out i kind of notice a correlation between these vehicles you know with having the power like disconnect to reconnect things like my power window switch anytime i want to do the driver's or passenger side or once in a while it'll just not go but if i disconnect to reconnect it'll go also i got that dreaded little that 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 noise like when you push the recirculation button or start the air conditioner or heat or whatever. Yeah, kind of sounds like that. Which is also the uh, recirculation actuator for the recirc mode on your HVAC system. I've heard of people disconnect or reconnect those as well. And with today's little project of restoring the amplifier. There's got to be some kind of common correlation between this. I'm not sure what it is. But that's three things or more. That can be, you know, resolved with this. You know, I wonder how many more things you can resolve with this, with this uh, little disconnect, reconnect thing. Only time will tell if I find it. I'll call it out, I, I suppose, like I always do. But if you have any ideas for common correlations on why this is, you know, leave it down in the YouTube comments below this video. And hopefully we can get some uh, discussions going as to that. Hopefully we can kick this in the butt. For now, let's just close off this video and say I'm eventually. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your past, present, and future support of my channel. Special thanks once again goes out to KY Leo on Facebook, aka KY on Patreon, for being a patron. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and family, any other Dodge Journey owners or other people with Uconnect systems like on this car. Please do because it helps me make a living here on YouTube, helps me get my word out, and also tells me if I'm doing a good job or not on YouTube. And I'm not making crappy videos. And if you hopefully never want to miss another video from me again, you gotta ring that bell. <laughs> As Scotty Kilmer would say. <laughs> that being said, we got medical bill donations, social media links are in the video description. We got five sources. Patreon, Subscribestar, GoFundMe, Facebook Fundraisers, and PayPal.me. Social media, we got Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Steam it. Please consider donating and or follow me on social media. Even a dollar helps. Any amount helps out. And as games for the grave with it, it helps keep this channel and myself alive and undead. And we're going to sign off with the wise words of wisdom from Eric DeCarg. I remind you guys to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. Hmm. And as Eric O would say, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Take care. See you all in the next video.